apparently my fucking stream just stopped. You know what? You're right. I'm going to take my THC gummy. The fuck was that? My stream just stopped for no fucking reason. I, I like the, the way you happened. think. But you're oh, yeah. My mom was asking. Julian. She's like, what happened to the stream? <laughs> Bro, like, it, it, I don't know what happened. It was just, it just stopped all of a sudden. I looked up and I'm not streaming anymore. I was like, the fuck is this? Like, why do I have zero Stop viewers? That. I had four 30 seconds ago. Uh, it, it gave me an unspecified error. Is it is it back up and running now? Is it working? Yeah, I see oh, it now. Oh, there we go. Okay. Like, what the fuck? I, I don't know if your volume's on, because I don't have your volume on, but... Mm. Yeah, also, Z, yeah. it's a little uh, early for margaritas. I'll wait until after break. Margaritas? You're doing that now? Hell yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, fancy. I want one. Yeah. Come on over. <laughs> <laughs> I got weed gummies, uh, I got marijuana, no, no, and I got me. some, it, some it, margaritas. It, it unspecified yeah, we error did, uh, said some while trying too. to record. Ooh, that's kind of cute. There I'm jealous. Go. All right, all right, let's get started here, guys. Um, so you guys head down towards uh, D73. Uh, that was where, that was your bag place, right? Taylor's Corner Inn. Oh. Okay, so it was in that area, right, right, right. That's where the fishing contest was, I think. Um, in that down here in this area here. Oh, that's right. I've got it running in f fucking goddamn. Hold on a minute. Did you say D as in dog or C as in cat? D dog. As in dog. It's He's by in the dock. dock area. Yes. Give me a moment. Oh. I'm opening the wrong fucking browser. Wow. I didn't see all this uh, other stuff around the map. <laughs> There's a lot of other stuff around the map. And yeah. A lot of things that are highlighted too, so. Yeah, I didn't see. I only saw the the castle ward and sea ward section. So oh like, yeah, because oh. it, it's a it's a big city. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I see that now. It's pretty yeah. massive. It, it is actually the largest city <clears throat> on the uh, Sword Coast. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that part. I thought yeah. so, but I was like, I'm like, it's a lot bigger than even like Grim Gallier and stuff. So I was like, oh yeah, pretty... no, it it is. I mean, it's not Grim Gallier isn't even on the same um, uh, same world. I know, I was just, but, I was but just comparing yeah. to what I've seen, you know what I mean? 100%, yeah. It, it is the biggest city. Um, I, I think it's actually the biggest one in all of Faerun, if I remember correctly. But I definitely know it's the biggest along the Sword Coast. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. You guys head down, and... Uh, you are look. Oh, that, yeah, sorry. You guys headed up here, right? That's, that's why you guys are up here looking for the, um... The bag. The reward. Well, reward slash bag, yeah. Uh, I think we got a reward. Yeah, though. you guys got, we got the, the reward yeah. already. Yeah, so we just got to grab our bag. And oh, you already had the bag, but you wanted to get it, um, get some customization to it. So I think I think the bag itself is only five silver, but you want to get some like armor kind of shit for it, so that. You're... Oh, I th I think we settled on her getting a like um, uh, what is that like one of the, what are they call extra dimensional spaces so that the creature could be inside it and safe if that makes yeah. sense but you said it's gonna be like a thousand gold or 500 gold or something like that uh i think i said more than that i, I don't think i gave a price but it's definitely gonna be more than that because bags of holding themselves are are a lot more than that and those things don't hold there you want something that can be in uh like an actual extra planner dimension you know where you where you can breathe air and shit it's gonna be a lot more than that like it's gonna be very expensive uh, which is why I think you guys had settled on for at least now getting like an armor type thing for the for the whoa, interior. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Give me a price, and then we'll decide. All right, hold on a sec. Uh, what is the bag of holding? Magic item prices. And bag of holding, I think, is rare. Uncommon. Okay, so uncommon wondrous is okay. So just a regular bag of holding is roughly two thousand gold. However, the magic that it takes to create a extra dimensional um, realm. Not just space, but a realm, because you need air and such. That is going to be probably closer to, like, 25. 
because that that is that that's like level nine spell type shit. Twenty five hundred gold. No, no, twenty five grand. That is like level nine shit. Technically, I should probably have it even more expensive than that because something like that would be like, uh, probably a major wondrous, very rare, which in the handout says sixty thousand, but considering it doesn't have like any any practical combat or um uses like that i'd probably put it at about 25 grand that is high high end magic <clears throat> makes sense yeah, it's just different than what we talked about last session, so that's fine. So, um, if you wish, uh, you can go find somebody to uh, maybe get you like a, like an armor slot for for your bag. Uh, for now, until you can get the money to something like that. Or you yeah, guys I'm like, can I'm like else. halfway there, so. Are you? Oh, damn. I mean, y'all, you guys also yeah. have all those magic items to sell too. So, if you want, we can start with that and see what we end up with. How much did you say a bag of holding was? Uh, a wondrous uncommon is two thousand, but it has no air in it. It can hold. Uh, it can hold ten minutes of air. That's it. Uh, for the items, I'm still waiting for people to get back to me about what they want. So um, I think I, I was, we I should just sell, sell right away. I feel like no, we've we've said it like six times. If nobody's claimed anything other than me, then just sell everything else. Uh, is everybody else okay with that? I'm okay with that. The only suggestion, I, and I'm not trying to tell people how to run the characters, but maybe for one of the squishies, that ring of invisibility could be a really good way to opt out of combat in a second if you need to, to pull off the lines, but I'm cool either way selling it. Oh, like our little rogue friend? Yeah. <clears throat> Junto, that's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah, I may as well just give it to her later. Alright, and she has uh, a, a um a two minute slot available? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, we'll take it's that. Ring of Invisibility? Indeed. <laughs> so, what all do you have to sell then? And I think I... Uh, Zen's working on it. Okay. And I assume you guys yeah, are going to go see um... Arcane Bob then, yeah? Yeah, because it's so basically the main stuff to sell is going to be Ring of Fire Resistance, Ring of Attunement, Ring of Evasion, um, which are all Wondrous Rares, uh, Circlet of Blastic, Lucky Eye Patch, Fanged Mask, which are all Wondrous Uncommons. Oh, damn. Nobody wants the Ring of Attunement? That's crazy. That's crazy. But doesn't right. it have a downside? I mean, barely. Define barely. I mean, all right. Oh, I can't find it. Um, was that like a homebrew one? Yeah, it's it'll be in the in the chat. Give me a sec. I'll pull up the chat and find it. La, 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 la. Where are we here? Oh, Ray, it said that you wanted that in the chat. You not want it? Ring of attunement? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I thought I just wanted the ring of protection and the diamonds. Oh, okay, I don't, yeah. No, I don't remember I what now. the ring does. Um, I don't suppose you wrote that down, Z. I'm looking to see if I have it somewhere, but I don't think I do. Because usually I would have put it in like a a sheet, like even the bag of Hunter, even though it doesn't go there, just so I can write it out, if that makes sense. It's also not on my uh, list of items. Oh, wait, yes, it is. I did it. What does it do? Yeah, severe debilitating strain on the mind doesn't really sound like a good thing. No, that that that's that's what it it uh it removes. So So, normally when you attune to a regular item, it causes severe debilitating strain on your mind. What this ring does is instead of you feeling that, the the ring takes that burden. The only Yeah, but then the fact that you have to roll for a wisdom check at disadvantage every time you used an attuned item doesn't really sound like it's very positive. No, it's not every time you use an attuned item. It is the one you are that is, uh, it's your fourth attunement item is what it is. Just that one. Yeah, like just the first, it says first time of day when you use an attuned item. You have to make a wisdom save. Yeah, so it sounds like any item on it. Okay, so that, that, that that's my fault. It's supposed to be when you use... Um, Oh no, okay, so it, it is any attuned item. However, all that happens is you lose the ability to use that item for the rest of the day. That's it. Yeah, which is like a big risk if your items are good, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you still have a, a, a chance to be able to use a fourth attunement item. That like Yeah, it, I don't I don't if, I don't I don't want it, it someone fine. else can take it. It's for me it's not worth the risk because if I use my staff, for example, and then I can't heal any. Like, for me, it's not worth the risk. Someone else might want it, though. Okay. I mean, that's fair. I was saying that wise. I'd be losing regularly. No offense. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, then you've got that one to sell. All right. So I'll drag you over to Arcane Bob. All right. Fine. You guys can drag yourselves in. Yeah, as you guys walk in, as per usual, Bob's just sitting there snoring away, leaning on his desk. Oh, Bob! Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, hello? Uh, oh. There you are. You have new friends. Ah, oh, yes, yes. And then Ray will, like, motion towards the new people and be like, introduce yourself. I'll be like, nudge Bob and be like, look, it's a cat. Another cat. Mm. A real cat, I see. Kind of smirks. Were able to just, like frump. All right. Well, I guess they're not going to introduce themselves. Uh, so Bob's going to say, uh, "I, I'm Bob. Hello." Uh, yeah. My name is Junto. You know. Uh, what? Who are you? What do you do? Uh, I'm Arcane Bob. I sell magic items. Buy magic items. Pretty much across the uh, the multiverse, really. Yeah, Junta's not a smart person, so he's just gonna nod his head. Hmm. And uh, what about that one there? Oh, she's mute today. Uh, this is Relira, though. She's she's my little pet right now. <laughs> What the Whoa, fuck? I'm writing that down. <laughs> oh god. Uh uh. Your pet? Uh 
What is this? Some kind of role play thing? Yeah, you can say that. He wants it to ah, be. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And uh, what about you, Biggin? My God. You're huge. Oh, my name you is call Boros. him Daddy Bull? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This my name is so Thoros. Horny. Sorry, go ahead. My name is Thoros. That's it. Just Thoros. Thoros the Red. Ah, I see. Well, you know, normally I, I require people to wear shirts in, in here, but uh, I don't think I'm going to make that suggestion to you. You look They you look don't angry. make them in his size? I mean, tailors are a thing. But anyways, what can I do for y'all? Uh, like yes, oh, we... oh, yeah, uh... Sorry, no, you're you're good. Um, I was just gonna go up to Bob Big. Well, uh, as always, we have some goods for you to browse. Always selling, always selling. Well, let's see what you got. Lay them on the table here. Yeah. So Zen will start kind of pulling out from his bag of holding. Um, so pull out the lucky eye patch, the fanged mask, ring of resistance, ring of attunement, ring of evasion, and a circlet of blasting. Okay, so he he takes a look at them all. And uh, basically burn several scrolls of identify just to be 100% sure. Um, looks, hmm, not bad, not bad. He picks up the Ring of Attunement. Hmm, surprised none of you want this. This is... This is very, very rare. I've only oh, ever I've seen, seen very, maybe two of valuable. these in my life. Risky. Well, Fair means valuable, right? Chuckles. Indeed. In uh, tell you what. For this one, 25,000. Gold? He, he looks at you strange. No, copper. Yes, gold. Of course, gold. What do you mean? Well, there's also <laughs> platinum. I don't know. Oh, dearie, dearie. No. <laughs> I am a businessman. So Zin nods. That seems like a, a nice price on that one. All right. All right. Let me take a look at the rest of these. And uh, Zin, how many of what rarities? Now give them yeah, to me slow. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So I ignoring the ring of attunement now. Um, there is two more wondrous rares, which are 16,000 straight up in yours. So if you want to half that, that's 8k each. <clears throat> um, and then three wondrous uncommons, which are 2k a piece. So that's 6k. If you want to half that, that's 3k. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Give you ten grand for these. All in. Then ponders that. He he uh he kinda looks over the party, see if anybody uh has anything to say about it before he answers. Um, I have a question. Okay. If I give him a potion of speed and all of my platinum pieces, can I get a bag for pickles? A potion of speed and how much platinum do you have? 1100. <laughs> no, no, not even close. He might be an addict, but I mean, he's still a businessman. That, that, is, that is way too low. But you said it was twenty five grand. Yeah, twenty five thousand. Yeah, don't we have ten thousand with the stuff that we're giving him plus all of my platinum oh, would also equal I, out ten thousand? I'm 000? sorry, I, I misunderstood. One, I, I thought the you one were... item alone is twenty five thousand, babe. Yeah, it, oh. it, it sounded it sounded like you you wanted to just do a straight up trade for a potion of speed and and uh, and eleven hundred platinum for. For for a twenty five thousand dollar item, that's what it sounded like. I didn't realize you were including that. 
like the money from the rest of the sale as well. Hmm. Okay, Zin just wants to finish the trade, so we'll do that first. All right. Well, what say you? Uh, Zin goes, well, if there's no objections, you did give us such a nice price on the Ring of Attunement. I think we have a deal. All right. Oh, and uh, he will, he basically uh, he casts um, fuck, I lost uh, the name of the spell. Um, animate objects at a level you've never seen anybody cast a spell before, and you see these coins just suddenly start popping up onto the desk over and over and over, and now there is a stack of I believe it was what thirty five thousand. Yep, 35,000. Yep. There you go. As well. Pleasure doing business. Uh, you looking to buy anything today? Uh, Zin will say thank you, Bob. Um, and then players to players that's 7,000 each. Um, Zin is going to give his 7,000 to Ray. All right, then. So. Well, uh, you got any, anything you want to buy today or what? Uh, nothing I need to buy today. Uh, but does anybody else need anything? Question, Bob. How much is a flame tongue halberd if you have one? Player to DM, it's uh, rare. Uh, let me take a look. Uh, he's going to uh, he's going to open up a big book and are flipping through the pages. Flame tongue. Let's see, it requires a tune. Got to use the bonus action to activate it. Six fire. Okay. Hmm. Well, depends. Are you looking for a brand new one? You want me to enchant yours? What are you looking for exactly here? How much do the respective alternatives cost? Uh, well, if I got to enchant it, it's going to take me some time, uh, and I'll need your weapon until then. Uh, it'll probably take me a day. Uh, if you are looking for a brand new one, well, I'm going to have to find it. I don't have one on me right now, but that I could probably find it by the same amount of time. Difference in price is probably only about a uh, hundred gold. Um, if you want me to enchant it, it'll, it'll cost you an extra hundred. Got it. And how much is the price one way or the other? Because you haven't given me a price for either. Oh, oh. all right. Sorry. I'm <laughs> I'm old. A little forgetful sometimes, you know. All good. He uh he reaches into his desk and he pops a cork. You know what this he 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 chugs back and uh, he, his eyes go wide, his pupils grow massive, and he kind of shudders for a moment. All right, all right. And he he starts up, uh, you can see him almost doing calculations. He's like, uh, roughly. Shit, how much was that? Give me a sec. I closed the thing because I thought you guys were done. Um, it's gonna be uh, huh. it's gonna be about five thousand gold. All right, I'll pay you fifty one hundred. You enchant this one if you would. Very well. Uh, should be ready yeah. first thing tomorrow, I think. Uh, I'll give Ray 2,000 gold. Oh, thank you so much. You don't have to, though, because I do have enough for the bag if you want to keep it. Are you sure? Yeah, if with Zin, if Zin gives me his money and with the platinum pieces that I have, I should have enough. Okay, well, if you ever, if you ever need something, just holler. Thank you very much. You're welcome. 
uh, a bag. What kind of bag you need? You see his, like, teeth chattering and his legs just bouncing, tapping his fingers. <laughs> okay, Ray will be like, a bag for for pickles. He's a sugar glider and he needs to stay safe and he has to breathe. And And then she'll, can I, did we purchase the crossbody bag already? Yes. That okay, so can I, I like. I think that was like five silver or, or like five gold. Okay, can I hand him the bag that I purchased and be like, to line, like, to, uh, can we use this as like a base? He, he kind of, he, he looks at it and he's like, ah, okay, okay, okay. So, so yeah, you, you want basically uh, a bag of holding with air. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, Oh, give me a second, give me a second. And he, he again starts like flipping through pages, and this time it's uh it's a spell book in front of him. Um But uh, this one looks different than other spell books. Um Ray, you can as you take a look at it, you can give me a, an arcana. Okay, it's not gonna be great. Or it might be okay. He has a book in front of him. And at the top of each page, um, you it looks like titles, and as you look, uh, I mean, it's a little hard to read it upside down, and some of it is in some strange languages, but you do get the idea that this is a book on enchanting items, how to make something magical, and he's like, okay, okay, so if I combine this one and this one, I, uh, hmm, yeah, that should work, that should work, that should work, yeah, uh, materials, da, 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 yeah. Uh, it's going to take a full day's work, so I've already got that one to do. Uh, it'll take me it'll, two days before it's ready. Two days. And uh, I don't know if you're going to like this. <laughs> it's going to be pricey. I'm uh, And I'm barely making anything on this, but it, 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 it's 25,000 gold. Can you, can you do 25,000 gold? Um, so Ray will just take the money that Zinn gave her and then plus her 7,000 that we just got and just like put that on the table and then she'll like rummage through her coin purse and start like dumping out all of the platinum pieces on the table and then shoves it for towards him and be like, is this enough? You see him. Uh, he's got about 30 seconds left on this potion of speed. And over the next 30 seconds, you've never seen anybody move this fast. Never mind an old man who looks like he's, you know, 10 minutes from death. But he goes ham. He's just sliding shit around his uh, around his um, his table, and he's basically like picking up handfuls, throwing them on a scale, knocking them off the scale, picking more up, putting them on a scale. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's good. That's good. Oh, I'm I'm getting tired. Starts to snore again. Uh, Bob? Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, hey, uh, yeah. Uh, 25,000. Oh, yeah, you already gave it to me. Yeah, no, uh, we're good. About two days. Perfect. You, uh, you guys gonna go enjoy the festival? Have you been there yet? Um, Ray will be like, they have, we haven't. Ah, uh, well, there's lots of cool stuff out in the market. Uh, uh, there's a fighting ring and such, too. And uh, uh, a rodeo. Uh, I think there's more stuff down by the docks, too. A rodeo? Where they ride bulls? Ah, uh, well, from what I heard, uh, I do got my ear to the ground. And he kind of looks over at, uh, at Thoros. Not a whole lot of minotaurs, so when one happens to try and ride a horse, it's... Uh, <laughs> it gets around town. Fair enough. But uh yeah, no, not not bulls. It's uh it's uh buck and broncos, I think. Ah, okay. I think we're headed to the docks. Probably a good idea. There's a lot of guards around the market at the moment. Apparently there was a uh pretty gnarly theft yesterday. You don't say. Uh, yeah. yeah. I do say. That's that's what I heard, anyway. 
Very unfortunate. Oh, I've been muted this whole time? I said, speaking of theft, I'd like to buy some shit. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, no, you've been muted the whole time. I thought you were just doing your, your you know, your, your sit in a corner all stoically. <laughs> no, I was trying to fucking buy shit. This man's like, I got money now. I need to spend it. Yeah, well, I gotta get some health potions and shit, dude. Okay. I can make those for you, too. Fair, but also, I'd like them right now, just to be Yeah, safe. no, no, I'm just saying, like, if you buy a, a few, like, don't get too, too many, because I can oh, also yeah. craft them for you, too, because I have stuff to do it. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm gonna buy Rolera and I with our respective money uh, three potions of greater healing, and then I'm gonna buy myself one potion of speed. Alright, let me... Actually... Yeah. No, because he already took his, so I guess it'd be a waste. Yeah, I would buy one potion of speed. No, All no, right. I'll give you my potion of speed. No, I was going to drink it with, with fucking Arcane Bob, but he's a little fucking drug addict and just dips it on the reg. On ah, the gotcha. reg, he bud. <laughs> uh, yeah, potion of speed, is, uh, he'll sell you for 600. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Careful with them. They're fun, but, uh, you know. <laughs> And you, you can see just him even thinking about his eyes are wide and just the smile that spreads across his face. Man is a straight up addict. Um, but yeah, it's 600 gold for the potion of speed and you wanted what? Three Early potions healing? of greater healing at 400 each, I believe. Greater healing, yep. Uh, 400 each. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I got those kind of coming out the wazoo, you know, at the moment anyways. They kind of come and go. And how many did you want? <clears throat> uh, three each. So right. six total. All right. Well, uh, it's twenty four hundred gold then. For the for that, uh, six hundred for the potion speed. So three 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 thousand, please. Uh. Why do I feel like that math isn't mathing? 400 times 6 is 2,500, or 2,400, and one push of speed is 600. So oh, I'm points. sorry. I was thinking of them separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I took the money out. All right, well. Been a pleasure doing business. Uh, lost a lot of gold. Made some gold. Been a good day. I'm happy for you, Bob. Enjoy your your crack rest. Ah, no time to rest. Got to get to work on enchanting items. So, see you tomorrow, and you in two days. Pointing at Thoros and then at Ray. Thank you, sir. Ray will, and Ray will just be like, thanks, Bob, and then she'll, like, run around the side of the desk and just give him, like, a big hug and then walk away. <laughs> he kind of, like, <laughs> after you let him go, he kind of, like, Spits, and you can see just a little bit of hair like flying away from his mouth. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> just gets everywhere, doesn't it? <laughs> Can't help it. But all right, um, so you guys head out. Is there anywhere y'all wish to stop before you, uh, before y'all head to the festival? Not for me. No, I'm good to go. Right. So you see Bob starts to, uh, uh, he, he actually starts to head upstairs um, with one of the books, and uh, he, he carries the halberd, and for his frail um, look, he seems to carry this very large, um, very large halberd quite easily, which is very surprising. And he just, he walks up the stairs as you guys exit. Uh, you guys start making your way down to the docks. Uh, let's see, after all of that, I'm going to say that probably took you a good half an hour to an hour to do. I think you guys, yeah, it was 10 in the morning when he got up. You went here, and then you went up here. It so, was 11.30 when we started the day. 11.30? Okay. So by the time you got up to there, yeah, you're, you're looking at, it's, it's probably about 1 o'clock now. 
do what had to do to travel up there, get done. Uh, so then to get all the way back down, you're looking at probably another hour. Down to the dock. So it's about 2.30 by the time you arrive down to the dock area. You see the festivities are in full swing. Um, although there wasn't a whole lot of, you know, there were small stands and stuff along the way um, on the streets. But the, the real festivities... Licensed vendors and whatnot um, seem to be around the market and the dock area. As you enter the dock area, you can see streamers and there's bards and uh, bards playing and walking around. And, you know, some of them are just standing there with their hat on the ground. Busking. But as you get down... Ray will, like, flip a silver coin into the hat, one of their hats. Yeah, he... Uh... He, he he looks at you and he kind of like does a, a bow without skipping a beat um, and keeps going. You guys make your way down to the docks. Um, down here, you notice that there are a lot of games going on. Um, games of chance. Uh, there are... Uh, you, you hear somebody shout, Fishing tournament! Every hour on the hour! You realize you got about half an hour before that starts, um, so you can wander around, take a look, see what else you see in the area um, before it's it's time for that. If anybody is into that, Ray will just like fish, and then she'll look to like her other fellow kitty cat and be like, "You want to fish?" And her tail's just like going nuts. You did. Or AFK? Or he doesn't want to Yeah, fish. you. <laughs> You're the other cat. Oh, I guess we can fish, but don't we not like water? <laughs> yeah, but fish on a rod. You don't even have to get in the water. Uh, all right. Let's, let's, let's do some fishing. <laughs> well, it, it doesn't start for half an hour yet. So, you, I, mean, I mean, if you guys want to skip well, forward, we can comes. do that. Or you, you can... Look around, right. see what else there is for the moment. So. When the time comes, Ray, I will support your endeavor and fish with you as a cat, Perfect. as a feline friend. Ray, just like so excited to have like <laughs> another cat friend, even though everything she thinks she knows is wrong. Um, on the way to the fishing, um, for this bag of holding thing, can I get some sort of like bedding or something to make it? Comfy inside on our way, and then we'll fish. Um, I mean, yeah, the, there's probably lots of stables along the way. I'm sure you give somebody a copper, and they'll give you a handful of. Oh, he has your bag. Yeah, he's yeah, got to yeah. Enchant it, right? Yeah. So, like, so, like, when when I say it's um extra dimensional realm, um, like there's there's plants there's there's oh so is it like when he like... when zin sends like yukina away yeah yeah kind of uh it, like it, she goes basically to a home plane whereas uh this is its own like small i'm gonna say inside like to, to, for you to look in you're not gonna see it but what your your sugar glider would see was basically you know like trees and um, probably a stream like they, this. Probably like it's probably going to be a, like a at least a a mile by mile inside. Which okay, is so why it's like its, so its own little oasis. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And like, okay, I mean, okay. you could put more than just a sugar glider. You you want a whole collection of pets? You can fucking throw them in there. Oh, bruh, you wait. Yeah, like like this. This is like a mile by mile like area inside of this bag. Love that for me. Okay, then I'm cool to just skip to the fishing. Well, as you guys head towards the fishing area, you see plenty of people um, calling out their, their games. Uh, one says, ah, come test your strength. Come test your strength. Another's like, all right, just find the ball underneath the cup. Oh, that's all you got to do. Step right up. Uh, okay, when Ray hears the strength one, she'll just like look over to Thoros and be like, that's for you. You can win. Okay, I'll try it. Oh my god. All right. So you walk up. Um you you follow the sound of the man screaming, "Test your strength." 
Thoro, Thoro, see, uh, he's our man. If he can do it, no one can. I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> As you walk up, you notice that uh, it looks like the, a tall standing uh, wood, almost like a meter. Um, at the bottom, there is what looks to be uh, something you got to hit, and the man is holding a hammer. At the top, there's a bell. How much to play? Uh, one silver. One silver. You uh, you ring that bell. Then you... Uh... Rave quickly flips and gives him two silver. Ah, you want two attempts? Or one for each of you? Nope, two attempts. All right, well, said. by all means, he, uh, he hands you the, uh, the hammer. He's like, all you got to do, wind up, bring the hammer down right there on that little metal piece. And let's see how far you can, uh, you can send the ball up. See if it rings that bell. Got to give me one sec, because I think I had something that gave me advantage on that. It is, uh, this will be in athletics. Yeah, I had something for that. Uh, I believe if you rage. Are the barbarian features? That wasn't even rage, I don't think. Yeah, it could be something like that. Or is it powerful build? Uh, I don't think I've got that. What the hell? I'll try it as is. Hold what do you want me to roll, Stitch? Give me a sec. I'm pretty sure you should have powerful build. Give me a sec. Uh, what kind of uh, minotaur are you? A black one. Jesus. The kind that's built differently. Oh, God, don't. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to find the names. Bonquai Minotaur. Carrying capacity, okay. your strength score is multiplied by 20 instead of 15. All right. I can see the you got. Oh, you don't have powerful build. That's wild. Uh, X charge left. Uh, you're a, a Bane Kawaii, right? Yes, sir. Ooh, <laughs> Desu. Oh, I could use a reckless attack on it. Ah, uh, okay. So you, it's your your carrying capacity. Yeah. Uh, reckless attack is for attacks. This is technically just in uh athletics. Okay. But it's a skill test. Okay. But if you want to rage, I think you get uh, advantage. I do. I'll try without rage first. All right. Give me your athletics. Oh, there's a disadvantage to me, too. Oh, so close. You slam it down, and it goes flying upwards, and it stops about a foot away from, from ringing it. All right. Well, you got one more try. Let's see what you got, biggin. And this time I'll burn a rage and hit it. All right. You... Uh, 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 and you bring your hammer down. It stops in the same spot. Ooh. Okay, I'll try one more time. I'll give him a silver. But I think my rage drops off. You. It is. I think my rage drops off because I didn't hit anybody. Or get uh, hit. No, no, it's, you're fine. Okay. Oh, oh, you're getting so close every time. Uh, What's the reward if I win? Uh, Wait, can I give him guidance on something like this? I mean, yeah, if he wants to try a fourth time. Yeah, I'll right, flip another silver. silver. Yeah, okay. Guidance. All right, uh, the, the prize? Well, oh, I guess you're going anyways. Okay. As it goes, did he use up, guidance with that? Yeah, he can. I just mean, did he? I don't know. No, he did not. He did. As it goes up, you see him. Uh, you see his hand go to the back of the side or to the to the back side of it, and this time when you hit it, it dings. Yeah, you did it. I'm Wait, gonna, is he gonna look to the back of it? Uh you yeah, I'm gonna say because you're busy, you're not gonna notice, but I will allow uh 
Snow, Snow seems very uh, encapsulated watching you do this. So I'm going to go with uh, Junto and Zen. Can give me a perception. Oh, I'm going to see what it is. Rip. No, you're not. Are you? Nobody notices. <laughs> nope. I'm going to see myself miss it. He, uh, he's, he says, yeah, congratulations. Oh, not many people have been able to do that today. You must be one of the strong ones. And he's like, wow. Oh. He kind of looks up and down and goes, obviously. Uh, <laughs> but he, uh, he walks over and he grabs a, uh, what, be a small stuffed animal. What? And he brings it over. You can give me a D6. Um, um, Thoros. Uh, it is a small horse stuffed animal. Thoros will hand this to Ray and say, here, now your sugar glider can have something to play with. You shut up. Ray's just like so excited. I'm actually excited that we got a stuffy. I wasn't sure if you were going to give us stuffies. It is a festival I love after the all. Stuffies. What the fuck is a stuffy? A stuffed like animal. Like a stuffed animal. Like a, like is a that, bear. Is that an Alberta thing? <laughs> no, dude. They're also <laughs> often called plushies. Okay, I know plushies. Yeah. All plushies a brand, so they were all called stuffies before plushie came out. Uh, oh, I'm just not there yet. See, this youngin? Awesome. I don't know how old you are, but I'm going to call you a youngin now. Yeah, holy shit, dude. That did make me feel young for a moment. All right. Uh, he starts calling again. Ah, step up, step up. Test your strength, everybody. Um, but at that point, uh, unless somebody else wants to try it, I'll give it a shot. Okay. Sure. Ah, another one, huh? He kind of looks at your size and looks over at Thoros. <laughs> you think you can beat that? You saw how hard he had to hit it. But who am I to, to deny a customer? One silver, please. Wrong silver. Disrespectfully. He hands you the hammer. Well, let's see what you got. Is it just a athletics check? Yes, it is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, am I allowed to jump? I mean, he didn't give you. I'm gonna a... fucking send it right. from the top of my jump. Oh my god. I rolled so good too. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you bring it down, and it only gets up about halfway. Oh my god! And that'll be the end of me <laughs> trying to do that. Ah, oh, come on now! You're, you're gonna give up after one try? You're not gonna step up again? There's That's a no shame. Shot. Such a shame. Well, thanks for playing. And he goes back to calling out his game again. Um, as you guys wander around, you, uh, somebody saying about find the ball in the cup. Um, you also hear um, archery going off. Zin, Zin's eyes perk up. Yeah, you can hear the twang of the bows. And you hear, oh, good try. And you see, uh, you see some people like walking away, like kind of adding their pockets, looking for more money. Yep, Sin's interested. He is like, let's go there. Do they have stuffies? Give me one second. I just need to clip this cigar. Ray's having the best day. Good. Oh, happy belated, by the way, Blair. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Happy belated, even though I said it yesterday. <laughs> Wait, it was yours too? I thought it was your grandma's. Uh, my grandmother's was the 23rd. I'm the 27th. Oh, well, happy birthday. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you. Had a had a good night. Definitely drank more than I planned to, but I feel great today. Uh, my, so, my, I mean, my, you're my... still alive, so. <laughs> and my... Space Marine was a lot of fun. Right, dude. With dude, after you left, we still continued to roll. We we had like eleven games in a row. Like that's we awesome. Yeah, rolled. I had a good time last night when I was playing. It's totally you just gotta get used to the game, and you'll love it. Fucking great. Yeah. Well, it's nice when you have an actual three stack to talk to people while you play. Yeah, yeah. The big thing. Hundred percent. Also, Savage, you have to open your gift on stream because I want to see. I was already planning to. Oh, thank Perfect. you, Kenny. Appreciate that. Nice to I see you again. I haven't seen you in a while. Bro, it's it's not a butt plug. I know it's not a butt plug. No, please tell me it's not a butt plug. You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the suspenseful silence. All right. Is it or is it not? Who knows? I don't know. You really got me wondering now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. All right. So. Um, Zin immediately perks up as soon as he hears the twang of bows. It's like, well, let's go check that out. He's going to say that to the group because he's not just trying to leave everybody behind. And he's going to start kind of walking in the direction he saw the people leaving. Ray will, like, follow, hoping that she, that if Zin wins, he'll give her a stuffy. Doris is just drilling along, taking in all the sights. Yeah, I'm just... Making sure we don't lose Relyrif. <laughs> She's out of it after last night. Traumatized and shit. I think he just wants to make sure she keeps her sticky fingers to herself this time around. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, that's not like... Fucking klepto, dude. <laughs> Who knew I was marrying a klepto? <laughs> surprise! Yeah, surprise! This is my personality. <laughs> it was great. Um, but yeah. As you get there, um, you see several uh archery laneways. Um, at the front of each laneway, there's a table with a bow on it. It is, uh, it doesn't look like it's very shoddy. In fact, it looks like a pretty decent bow. However, man steps up. Ah, uh, looking to try this archery game, huh? And he's, he's in fact, smoking a cigar. Um, it, it does look quite interesting. What's the, uh, what's the rules? Well, let's see. 70, uh, you can see, you can see it, it is 75 feet away, and, oh, sorry, they are crossbows, not bows. Oh. Um, the bolts are uh, blunt on the end, uh, not like your normal, like, hunting ones, ones you would use, Z. Yeah. It's a trap. Uh, I've just got to double check if I'm proficient. Um, it says hand crossbow. Would that? What are these hand crossbows or more like the bigger boys? Uh, these are. It's a heavy crossbow. Okay. Uh, martial weapons doesn't fall under that, right? Because that's just melee ones. Um, I should be under that. Yeah, it it would be it's, it's technically okay. Then we're good. Yeah, if I wasn't proficient, I'm not gonna. Get, you know what I mean? Um, he's like, okay. Uh, how many shots do you get on a try? Just one. Ah, uh, three arrows. Now he points down down range. Um, says, well, obviously no points for a miss. That first ring. One point. The next ring, five points. Next ring after that, ten points. And the center ring, and you notice that it is a very, very tiny dot. That one there, the bullseye, well, that's 25 points. To win, you need... Let me read this. Uh, 
Uh, three arrows, so he's going to stay. 40 points to win. Okay. Zen nods. Um, <clears throat> question for you, Savage. I'm pretty sure they don't work, but these don't work, correct? Making sure I remove all the stuff before I start shooting at things. Oh, they do not. Um, yeah. I'm going to so tell you, only though, long bows and short bows. You may add your dex mod. No profit. There's a reason for that. Okay. As a heads up. Okay, that's fine. Um, and this is an open space. Um, is there... And, and he... There's no other rules, sir. Let's uh, stand behind the table. Three bolts. Hit the target. Uh, give me... Okay. All right. I just had to check the range. I was pretty longer range. All right. So uh, he he loads up the first crossbow bolt for you. All right. How about her? As he points down range. Oh, uh, did he took the the money right? Yeah. It's a, it was how it was a silver. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was it was a silver. All right. Sounds good. Um, how so do basically you want me to roll, roll me? So I'm just adding my decks. Honestly, uh, you basically just uh, you, you don't even gotta to type it in. You just hit your fucking uh, your dexterity guidance. Okay, just hit my dexterity and guidance. Apparently, if that worked here, as uh, uh, no guidance is for skill checks. Technically, this would not work. Uh, however. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, when you go to do this, it's, it's kind of obvious. Uh, he's, ah, 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 ain't no magic. No magic allowed, that's cheating. 14. It wasn't in the rules. That is 10 points. Okay. Ah, looks like you got 10 points. He hands you the next, uh, next bolt. to do it otherwise. Ah. That one there. Not so good. That's, uh, looks like you, you, hold on a second. He kind of like brings out uh, a little spyglass and he looks, ah, that is another 10 pointer. It was, it was very close to only being five, but yeah, you, you got it there. Good job. Let's see you do one more. Remember, you still need 20 more points. So you have to. All right, Zen pauses for a moment. He takes aim. He takes his time on this one, and... Nope. <laughs> wow. Oh, what a shame. You want to try again? Yeah, and let's do one more time. You, you see a, a, a man kind of open a door behind the target, uh, and he comes out and he pulls the bolts out. Uh, he then goes back, he shuts the door, you can hear it click, and in a few moments you see him walking back up, bringing the arrows. Or the bolt, sorry. All right, one more silver. Zen hands it over. He loads the crossbow check. bolt. Oh. Uh, what, what, what are you trying to perceive? The target and that whole interaction of him coming out and then going back. Well, I mean, uh, Something you, seems sus. you do see the same guy, like, um, coming back up, like, around the side. Of the of the archery setup, so yeah, you, you you can definitely tell that he's so oh, he's not still back there. Yeah, this is basically just the dude who pulls the arrows out because you can't have the next person shoot until the arrows are are out. Right, right. right. But if you if you wish to make a perception check, by all means, uh, on the at least at the board or something in that area. Sure. Whoa. You don't really notice anything off about the the target. It, it target seems legit. So Zen, he loads you up another crossbow bolt. Here I go. 
Oh, oh my God. He, he, he zooms in with a spyglass and he's like, oh, 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 you are just, just on the ring. That's, uh, that's a bullseye, sir. That's 25 points. 15 more and you win. He loads Ooh. your crossbow again. Oh, the pressure's on now. You got this. Oops. Holy oh. shit in a bucket. You got it. Oh my God. You're the first person to be able to do that today. And he places uh, the third bolt back on the table. Then, as he walks yep. over to find a uh, a prize for you, first give me a d6, and then give me a investigation check. He used all his good rolls wow. already. Yep. Jesus, uh, the day is gone, person. Everything is on the up and up. 100%. Uh, you get... He comes back out, and this this, this, uh, this particular, particular stuffy seems to fit in the palm of his hand. And he hands you what looks to be a spider. Uh, uh, it's it's a it's a spider plushie. It's very cute looking. Oh, very nice. Thank you for playing. Thank you very much, sir. And oh. I'll kind of look at the, the spider stuff. Go ahead. Uh, around you, you kind of uh, you see other people like trying, and you notice that some of these people look like they should know how to shoot, and yet. You even see a guardsman um, stepping up and attempting the game, and almost none of them are even hitting the target, never mind winning. But you think nothing Interesting. of it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm too, too enthralled with this stuffy. Um, Zin will uh, turn back to Ray, uh, and he'll say, since uh, it seems like you have a bit of a collection going on here, take this one as well. Two stuffies in one day. Best day of my life. Thank you. All right. And uh, as you guys still got a few minutes before the fishing con, uh, you hear somebody calling out, uh, pin the tail on the donkey. Somebody else saying, try your hand at some ring toss. Uh, you also. All right, go on. Uh, we'll save that one for after. Um, you also say, try the wizard's tower. Come now, come now, try the wizard's tower. Uh, you also, uh, hear another one. Guess the door. Guess where the bag of coins is behind which door. Oh, you've got some more options. Want to test something else out before the, uh, the fishing contest? <laughs> Um, I'm not very good at things, so probably just fishing. Nothing's catching your eye, Junto? Um, uh, I guess I can do the guessing game. What, the, the doors? Yeah. Okay. As uh, you get to this one area, there's a small booth there. And step right up. Try and guess where the bag of coins is. And he's waving a bag of coins. Um, it's it does not look like a big bag of coins. And there are two separate doors there. He stands between. You can guess which one the bag of coins is behind. Then you win the bag of coins. Step right up. Um, you see that in between, um, there is a wall uh, between the two doors. Small wall, but it, it's it's basically just you know, a small frame just made to help hold up the two doors. Huzzah. All right, so you, you want to try? Yep. 
Muted? Yep. Oh, Give it a shot. All right, all right. One silver, and he takes the bag of coins, and he walks behind the two. Drops it down. Hear the, you can hear the bag jingling. The coins jingling as they hit the ground. And he comes back out. So, which door is it? I'm going to keep an eye on this guy while Jinto's playing. Oh, and this one, by the way, this game costs a gold to play. Oh, yeah. He it, said a silver. Yeah, no, I, I I read that wrong. That's my bad. It is a gold. Right. And then it's one, two, or three? Uh, Yes, we'll do three. All right. Door two. He opens the door. Ah, oh, what a shame. You see that there's a stool behind it. There's nothing on the stool. Does you care to try again? Sure. All right. Well, place one gold on the thing, and I'll be back in a second. You hear him pick up the, um, the bag of gold again, and he places it down somewhere else. This time, I'll give you a perception. To listen to see if you can figure it out. God, roll twenty is running like garbage right now. Twenty two. You believe he placed it behind the left door? Is that door one? Yes. Ah! Did you get me? He opens the door. No bag of coins. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Try again? You can win notice. five gold. Did I notice anything weird about this guy? Does he look shady at all? Um, you, sir. Give me an insight. I mean, he's a carny. They all look a little shady. Damn. That's Damn, Z. Point. 16. You're not sure if this guy's on the up and up. I feel like there might be something a little shady. I hate carnies. Well, nothing I can prove at this point. Are you trying one more time, Junto? I'm going to go one more time. All right. All right, gold on the table. And he goes around and he moves back. Give me a perception. Seems like it's behind the middle one. Comes back out. Well, where'd I put the gold? In his pockets. That's what I just said. Is that what you say? I do say that. I'm I'm sorry, sir. You have to guess the door. What do you mean, my pockets? I'm going to dash past the doors to the other side and see which one is behind. So, sir, sir, you're not... Oh, fuck. He takes off running. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna we'll fucking run, <laughs> run. Yeah, we're gonna run his ass down, dude. Oh, you, no. you, you guys make your way through the crowd. Um, <laughs> Phoenix, you, uh, I think you're level enough to be able to run on walls and shit, aren't you? Did you just say Phoenix? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Are all monks look the same? Huh? Is that what you're yeah. trying to say? Yeah. All you Tabaxi look the fucking same. <laughs> Racist. Uh, yeah, I think I am high enough level to run on walls. Right. I have the mobile feet and stuff. So he's making his way through the crowd, bumping into people running. Um, who, who all is chasing right now? Are you all chasing? I'm chasing. Thoros. I'll, I'll fly up, <laughs> and then uh, I'll fly up and chase. All right. Ray so... has no idea what's going on, so she's just going to go to, like, a vendor and get a snack. 
smart. Holy shit. Zen, you're you're flying Phoenix. You 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 run, jump, and start running along a wall, chasing this guy, and you're cu catching up really quickly. Oros. Oros, are you like charging through this alleyway that is just full of people? How are you doing this? Barreling down the alleyway. Oh my god. Bulls are very god. good. Bulls are very good in very crowded spaces. They're actually really <laughs> dexterous. Yeah, I think what he's getting to is those the consequences of my actions. Uh huh. Oh, standard. you're gonna. Got you I know. mean, it, it, yeah, it's full, and people are trying to get out of your way, but it is extremely crowded. Um. So how we're gonna do this is as you go, you are trying to avoid um, hitting too many people, but it is crowded. You are charging, and you are massive with red eyes and smoke coming from your nostrils. You you are a terrifying vision to behold. Oh, Bellow, you get the hell out of my way as I run. Give me right. extra warning. I'm going to give you advantage on... You know what? Uh, your choice of athletics or um, dex. Or, sorry, acrobatics or athletics. Let's go athletics. Okay. Yeah, you manage, like, somebody falls in your path, and it, it's a small child, and he looks up, no, and you leap over this this small child, landing, like, six feet past him, <laughs> mommy, and, you know, you can hear behind you a, a woman, like, rushes over and picks the kid up, um, you keep charging, um, at this point, though, you see, you, you can definitely see, um, Junto, Ah, I got it right this time. After I got it wrong, I wanted to call you Spoonbreaker. So, yeah. I got, I got it right this time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Eventually, we got there. Yeah. Junto leaps off the wall, does like a flip, and lands in front of this guy. He, he uh, The dude spins uh, to try and run the other way, and uh, Zin is on one side, flying above the crowd, looking down. So he turns to run back the way he came, and here's Thoros barreling down the fucking alley. Who's doing what first? I'm going to try and tackle him. I'm not trying to hit him with my horns. Just trying to tackle him. Hit him low. I'm trying to just jump off the wall and beam myself in the direction of him. I'm basically just going to fly above him as like a beacon. <laughs> so he can't get away. Savage. Fucking hell. I was muted. Feeling it. Jesus Christ. So as as you barrel downward down at him, um he does not get out of the way. And he turns around to see Thoros coming at him and all he can say is Oh no, with his eyes wide. You slam him, and as soon as you hit him, you can you feel and can hear the air just leave his lungs. And as soon as he falls on the ground at um, Junto's feet, you hear, <laughs> Oh, God, I can't breathe. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> He's kind of just rolling over and over. At this point, you, the, the guards do come running, of course. Um, I mean, it's a festival. There's cops everywhere as uh they they kind of come running in hey wait, what's going on here you did you do this and and you can hear the crowd around uh kind of like they're, they're quite obviously terrified of you yeah he, he hit that man one of the guards says and what was the reason for this this man is a cheat Okay, what do you do? Was using the doors, and I ran back because I thought he was cheating, and sure enough, there was no gold behind any door. There was no way to win the game. It was rigged. 
I mean, it is a carnival. You kind of got to expect that, but... You, get up! As he points at the other man. Um, the, the man is just... He, he's, he's terrified. He's not moving. He's literally about to shit his pants. Um, so the guards walk over and pick him up. That's true? Well, no, of, of course not. They, they just attacked me. These people just hate carnies. Go look behind the doors and see if there's any gold. They probably took it. They probably took it. I want you to give me a persuasion versus this guy's persuasion. That's not good. Can I substitute intimidation by being angry? Um, you're trying to persuade a guard, so if you want to try to do intimidation against a guard, you never mind. Can. I know that voice. <laughs> huh. Okay, that's good. The guard, uh, the the two guards pick this guy up, and one of them kind of holds him, like by the the uh, collar of his shirt, and the other one starts to pat him down. He pulls out a bag, a small coin purse. He opens it up and he says, "What was the prize for winning?" Asking you guys. Five gold pieces. They're lying. They're. It was only two gold. It was a 50 50, you know, double your money, double or nothing kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it was. He opens it up, and sure enough, there's five gold in this bag. Uh, the man continues to pat him down. He finds a uh, kind of tucked inside the back of his pants. He kind of flips it out, and it is a uh, it's, it's a bag of holding. You guys know this because you've seen it before. And they open the bag and they're like, we don't see anything in this bag. Turn it upside down. Uh, okay, he turns it upside down. Nothing happens. <clears throat> Turn it inside out. Okay. He turns it inside out. Bro, the pile of gold that falls out of this thing. Uh, 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 officer, it's... it's guard, it, it's not mine, I promise you. Yeah, right, right. He, he starts collecting the money again. Um, he gives each of you uh, two gold each. And he says, now how the hell are we going to find everybody that you cheated today? I ain't cheat nobody. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, Why they, not seize his funds and give them to the orphanage? Oh, well, there are a few I know of. Yeah, we, we, we could probably do that. Um, they start uh, picking up the gold. Um, the, the man is instantly put into shackles. And Savage gets quiet. No. Me? Yeah, what are you doing right now? I'm buying snacks. Oh, you're not playing a game? No. Oh, okay. I don't know, your Discord just popped up saying you're playing Fabledom. It's a lie. Hmm. <clears throat> Leave it alone for now. Um, so you can't see when we're looking at porn during the game, can you? <laughs> no, but sometimes Discord I'll will say you're using Chrome. Google Chrome. So, uh, you know, if I see Google Chrome pop up, I'm assuming. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> um, Sorry, I'm, I'm back. My my landlord was was uh, talking to me. Well, it, it is uh, it is fine. Um, but they, they gather up the rest of the gold. And they head off um, with this man in tow. So uh, you each got two gold for stopping him. Um, but on the way, uh, they do stop and they say, uh, next time, just uh, look for a guard. 
You know, leave, leave, leave that to us. That's, that's our job. And he goes, uh, especially you. And he kind of like motions to the reaction of the rest of the crowd. You have terrified these people, Thoros. I know what? you're just trying to do the right thing, but it's, it's better to call us. Understood. All right, everybody. No harm, no foul. Everybody go about your business, and they start to walk off. So, at this point, um, I, I take you guys are probably trying to head back to the carnival or the festival. And as you you uh, approach the the area, you guys do hear, uh, you know, the more games of chance going. But you also say, you also hear fishing tournament. Five minutes to start. Five minutes. Well, we should probably uh, make our way over. Yep. And then, like, as they get back, uh, can Ray give them, because she bought enough snacks for everyone. Just like a skewer of meat. Sure. Uh, Wait, yeah. so I still lost one gold from that guy? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, you made three attempts, right? Yeah. yeah, cool, cool. Just making sure that's what happened. Yep. To be fair, <laughs> I wasn't picking on you. You just made the wrong choice for the game. <laughs> that's actually in the handout. All that shit was supposed to go down. If if you guys noticed, which you did. Um. Oh shit, that's right. The fishing contest is not in this. Uh, PDF. Because it is actually part of the Dragonland. I can find that. Sounds like we're about to get scammed. Pretty good chance. Wouldn't be the first time today. Actually, what am I doing? I don't know why I'm looking up online. Okay, here it is. I got it. I fuck my cigar went out. All right, so, um, as, as you uh, uh, Ray, it would have cost you about for five people. Uh, we'll we'll call it a gold for for your viewers total. Two silver a pop. Okey Um, <clears throat> you guys head to the contest area. Well, let's see. Um, you, you see a, a man just handing out fishing poles. Um, you guys get to the front of the line and you each get a fishing pole. Because now, uh, you guys are pretty much the last ones to get some fishing poles. And now, everybody gather around. I'll tell you the rules. This is three 10 minute rounds. Uh, three ten minute rounds. So, obviously, biggest fish wins each round. First place overall will get a nice little prize. And he actually holds up um a beautifully handcrafted fishing rod. Um, this one is not like the ones you have. You guys have some basic, you know, string on a pole kind of shit. Um, but this one, it's, it, it looks it, beautiful. 
Um, it's got carvings of um of a kingfisher on it. Um, and you can see that it's reinforced with with metal, uh, probably some sort of maybe aluminum or tin, just to give it a little uh, extra strength. Now, if we catch you handing off a fish to somebody else, they can add it to, you know, what they get. You are disqualified. Somebody accepts a fish being handed to them. You are, that person is also disqualified. We're running a good game here. It's costing you nothing to join. Please don't cheat. Now, with that being said, find your sp spots along the dock. And we'll get ready to get started. Perfect. Ray will move to the dock with her rod or whatever. Says, all right, no acting fishy, everybody. Thank you, Squatch. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Giggle. And ready. Set fish. <laughs> Everybody casts their lines um, into the water, and over the ten minutes, people are starting to reel in some fish. During those ten minutes, let's see. We're gonna go with Zin. I need you. Uh, let's see. I'm going to roll on the catch able to. Okay. Zin, I need a D20, please. Fourteen. Wow, really? That's the catch DC. I forgot that this were like level twos, I think. So, all right. Give me a, uh, you, you get a bite on your line. I would like you to give me survival, please. Yeah. Christ. <laughs> As you, uh, you get a, a nibble, you, you, you're experienced in this, being a ranger. Uh, you've done some, done some fishing over your years. You wait a second, and then it feels like, uh, the, that little nibble turns into a tug. You set the line as you pull it and yank this thing out of the water. You get a mature river eel, one and a half feet long. Wow. Ray. Give me a D20. Ray, you wait a moment as you get a nibble. And then this one, it, it grabs on, and it's got some strength to it. I want you to give me a survival. Let's see, pull it up. Christ. Yeah, you also pull this one up. Um, you see that this is a mature cuirassed carp, three feet long. Oh, it looks like we're getting a good competition, everybody. People pulling up some uh, mature long eels and some carp. Oh, let's... Hopefully the the big one doesn't show up today. And you can, right. see, you can see some of the people, like, whispering to each other. And, like, uh, now that that has been mentioned, some of them seem to be a bit nervous. Ray will just look over to Zim with her fish and be like, Is this good? I did good, right? Zin will smile and just nod to her. Yes, you did good. Yeah, Z's, Z's holding his fucking one and a half foot uh, eel as he looks at your, like, big-ass carp. That I'm, like, I have, like, my arms wrapped around it, like, holding onto it with my whole self. Oh, uh, that's great. Um, <clears throat> Oros. 
You start to get nibbles. Give me a d20. You get nibbles, but you unfortunately do not get uh, seemingly anything to really bite. But at the end of your okay. at the end of the first round, pull up this line and you've got nothing on it. Your bait is gone. Junto. Yeah. E twenty. Yeah, you get some nibbles, and then you get what you believe to be a bite. Give me a survival. Yep, you pull this one up. This is a tiny river eel. Looks like Zin has got a longer eel than you, Junto. Yours is only one foot long. Giggle, giggle. Ooh. <laughs> I'd say it's not a competition, but it kind of is, unfortunately. <laughs> Didn't got that. And we're both <laughs> losing to snow. <laughs> That's fine. Yes, your eels are are quite uh, quite insignificant compared to her carp. Um, That's fine. Junto. Uh, oh, you just went. Yeah. Uh, should we roll for Rolira? You want me to roll for her? I'll roll for her. All right. D20. Cool. Five. Uh, she thinks she's got a bite. Give me a survival. <laughs> wow. Wow, what is with these 21s, guys? What's with the 5s and the 21s? It's the same roll. Jesus. <clears throat> um, yeah, she pulls up uh, a, a tiny river eel as well. About the same length as yours, Junto. They're it's like, look, so cute. Our eels are twins. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot she's mute. She just kind of pushes the, the eel towards you and just looks at yours and hers. I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, so at, at this point, all the um, um, the judges kind of walk by and they, you know, measure each person's as as you guys pull them out, so you can throw them back in. All right. Well, looks like we're about to start round two. So everybody, keep track of what you've got so far. Yep, got it. In terms of roll. Items like it, what what eels you got, etc. Yep. Okay. The 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 length and the name of it. So round two begins. Zen. Oh oh shit oh shit. Nice. And now I'm not gonna be able to pull the fucker up. <laughs> Something grabs real hard. It went from, there was no nibble, it just yanked, and you feel your reel, your reel just starts flying. So you, 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 you hit the switch, so it stops, and you are struggling to stay on your feet, not get dragged into the water. Um, everybody around you starts cheering, oh, oh my god! One of the judges comes up, I think he's got it! He's got Benabog! He's got the line breaker! Oh man! Oh Let's God! See. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh God! Yeah. Um. I need, as you 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 fight. This is gonna take you your the entire ten minutes. Everybody, you know, a few people are putting pulling at fish. Few people are losing their fish because they are too enthralled with what's happening. Was in. I need a survival, please. This one is, mm, you know what? It's a pretty high DC. I won't give you disadvantage on this. Give me a survival. Um, can I use my lucky coin? Yes. 
uh, you have to have the lucky <laughs> coin in your hand, or can you just choose to use? Uh, let's because see this does exactly take two hands to hold on to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understood. Let's see. Um, doesn't say, so I'm gonna action. Uh, yeah, it's all, it's just a plus one to the to to whatever I roll. Hi. Right. Yeah. Send it then. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Oh my god, get it. Come on. 26. This takes you 10 minutes. But you pull up Benabog. This thing is massive. Let's Um Okay. You pull this up. And it takes all of your strength. I want you to give me an athletics. As you pull it out of the water, you realize that you are going to have to get your hands on this thing to actually bring it all the way up the dock. You are not, it's going to snap your line if it's all the way out of the water. You, you, uh, you kind of get down. Again. <laughs> yeah. You, you get down and, and you, you, you kind of kneeling on your pole uh, as it's kind of like squirming away and you're trying to like get your hand into its gills and start to lift it. You're having problems. If you don't get it out of the water, then it doesn't count. Can the, I help world? him since I'm next to him? I'm not stealing his fish, and he's not giving me a fish. Everybody sees he's caught it. I'm just helping him bring it in. Can you post the spell for me, please? I need to see what um what components. For guidance, what, you what mean? What spell? Yes. I, I, yeah, for guidance. Vocal and somatic. So, um, did say don't be fishy. So, if you want to try and help him with this, I'm going to need a stealth check at disadvantage because everybody's watching this happen. And you no, know, I don't want to be sneaky. I wasn't trying to be sneaky. About okay, okay. Because if you're if you're going <laughs> to do that, they're going to class it as cheating. Okay, it's, that's fine. it's using magic, right? No, what the fuck? Send it, bro. Zen, it starts to <laughs> slip. But you, 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 you get you you try and get a better grip. Use your other hand and you dig it into the, the other gill. And now you you're basically like face to face with this fish. Right? I need another athletics. Come on, another, Zen. My, another use of lucky coin. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hard one for me. Oh, no. Nope, it's a nine. One of your hands starts to slip. Try and get a better grip. Or this is your last attempt. I have no more lucky coin uses either. Oh, is is it out? Uh, well, I, I'm so, so I had four charges on it because you only get uh, 1d6 at each dawn. So okay. I only had four charges on it. Then so I, I can't use the last 20. charge or oh, it will okay, turn I into see, a normal, normal thing. So I just get athletic straight. Come on. You got it. Nope. You did not get it. It slips from your hands and goes back underwater. And it oh, begins no. to swim away. Back. That sucks. You hear it. Oh, no. Oh, he's lost it. Oh. He, he, uh, he, as you're kind of like sitting there on your knees watching this sw thing swim away. Uh, he's, you can tell this this sucker's about seven feet long. It's it probably it, it weighs a good amount more. Well, he needs to do some fucking push-ups. Well, at least Bro, you saw him. Look at those arms. At least you saw him. You know that's considered good luck, right? If you'd caught him, you'd been a legend. 
That thing's been around here for at least 80 or 90 years. It's maybe been seen 20 or 30 times. And it's only ever been caught twice. But it's still a sign of good luck. Ray will just like give him a pat on the back. Yeah. That's yeah. like the very comparable thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Zen's just like, <sighs> good job, okay. buddy. Nice participation. Yeah. Participation award. <laughs> good it. hustle. Understood. Good hustle. Good. <laughs> he says that hurts. we got something special for you though because you you saw it well we'll start the next round in a minute everybody and um from around his back he hands you a um a small carved figurine that looks exactly like benabog cute that's pretty cool then to remind you this, of your failure. <laughs> <laughs> this item, you have, you are able to gain advantage um, before you roll three times before it loses its effect. You can, it, it doesn't have a, um, an expiration date. It is, you get, like you said, lucky. Even see him, right? So this, is, you will be able to uh, choose to gain advantage three times. Okay. Before you roll. And then after that, it's just like a regular wooden carved thing. Yep. After that, it will sell for about um, five gold. Or you keep it. Um, so that was okay. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Ray, you are up. <laughs> no, no, Kenny. It, it, it's going to be any roll. 17. Okay. You get a bite. Give me a survival. Once again, Ray, you pull up another mature arrest carp. Long. Boros. Amazing. 19. So close. Give me a survival. Go to gun. And one sec, sorry. Should I tell Lauren our character, Dad? Oh, that's mean. Oh my God, she's not. She's not, she's not prepped yes, enough do it. for that yet. Do it. You're right. <laughs> she's not prepped. Oh, Thoros. Unfortunately, you get a bite. Uh, you fight with this thing, and your line breaks. It's all good. Junto. Yeah. Sending it. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Hold on one sec. Uh. I've... <laughs> oh, it's got to fail by 10 or more. Never mind. Okay, yeah, go ahead, Junto. <laughs> Rip. I mean, higher than the last time. Uh, Yeah, you get a bite. Give me a survival. Sorry, I'm just writing down my numbers. Yikes. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, um, you get a bite, but as you try and set the hook, you your bait is gone. And Rinlira. Right? Yep. Bible. Yeah. 
Sorry, bro. You gotta give me a minute. No, no worries. Got it. Uh, thir- uh, yeah, yeah. She pulls up another tiny river eel, one foot long. Uh, they measure them up, all out, throw them back in, and next round starts in one minute. Get your lines ready, get your bait set. This is for the finale. Then he calls and cast your lines. 17. Man. Almost thought I rolled a 20 again for a second. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking zipped it from you, bud. Uh, Yeah, give me that survival. Uh, Yes, you pull up a mature cuirassed carp. Oh. Ray. Oopsie. Yeah, Ray, unfortunately, uh, this time you do not get any bites over the entirety of your 10 minutes. Boros. Survival. You get a bite, and as you try to reel this thing in, <laughs> I'm so sorry for this. It's okay. Um, the uh, you 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 try and start to pull it, and this thing's fighting you pretty pretty strongly. And you you catch sight of it, um, as it kind of like leaps out of the water. Um, this is only a, well, this is only a mature river eel. About a foot and a half long. However, as it dives back under, you feel somehow this thing suddenly has so much strength. It pulls you off your feet and you fly into the water. Everybody around laughs. <laughs> His muscles got in the way. <laughs> it's tragic. And you, you, uh, yeah, you, I mean, it's going to take you a couple minutes to swim back out. But yeah, unfortunately. That is going to be it for you for the contest. Junto! Let's go. Cool. Six. Yeah, give me a survival. Oh, yeah. You you pull this one up pretty easily. Uh, it's a one foot long. Tiny river eel. How big? One foot. Cool. And Ralira. God. I'm having a fucking click. She gets no bites. Yeah. Well, let's tally it up, shall we? I would like. All right, so everybody kept track of what they caught, right? Yeah. Here yep, is yep. your points. You, I will allow you guys to total them up yourselves. If you caught, not just had a bite from, but a, caught a tiny river eel, one point. Uh, a tiny cuirass carp. I don't think anybody caught one of those, but maybe. Uh, one foot long. Uh, that is two points. The mature river eel, one and a half foot long, is three points. Mature cuirass carp, three foot long, is four points. I don't think anybody caught the greater cuirass carp, did they? No. no. Okay, so we'll skip that one. That would have been five points. I think those are the only ones we've caught. Yeah. Okay, so total up your points, please.
<laughs> what are you doing, Taros? So I was trying to crack my character sheet because I knew there was something that had like a double advantage and it was a path of totem uh, warrior, barbarian level six, doubles carry capacity and things like that. Um, and so I realized I'd also omitted two spells that I could cast as rituals. I was working on modifying that to reflect that it was a ritual and not a spell. Uh, so they it should have uh, um, next to it that it is a, um, should be like uh, to the right of the name. You should see like R. R. Yeah. yeah, it has that, but it, but I can only cast it as a ritual. I can't cast it otherwise. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go ne uh, over to it. Uh, just change the name. Um, leave it. Leave the name how it is, and then in brackets next to the name. So you hit the gear, go down to the name, and just put in brackets ritual only. Got it. Thanks. Sorry for the interruption. No worries. All right, so. Eight points, huh? Ray, I want you to roll me a D100. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, That's actually good. Because I'm doing percentage die on this one, so you actually wanted it low. Congratulations, Ray. Out of oh my the, god, what get? Out of the other people around here, um, some of them being seasoned fishermen, you managed to outfish them all. So, I'm a natural. Everybody except Ray gets. I'll explain why everybody but you. Um, but everybody gets. Uh, where is it? All contestants receive a tiny wooden carving of. Um, of small fish. Uh, in fact, you get the kingfisher. Oh, sorry. Uh, yours is a. Sorry, everybody gets a. Uh... Okay, no, it shouldn't be a kingfish. That's a bird. <laughs> um, you all get small carvings of uh carp. However, Ray, uh, the contest runner walks over and hands you this beautifully made. Handcrafted, super strong fishing rod. As now this sucker, this <laughs> this line can easily hold Benabog. You might have uh, your friend there might have had a better time if he had this this pole, but this is our reward for you. Congratulations on winning uh, this this tournament. And he hands this to you. It's like I said, it, it's beautifully made. Um, you can keep it if you want. Uh, you can try and build a proficiency with it. Or you can sell it. And if you decide to sell it, uh, it is, it's about, uh, let's go with 50 gold. The right seller. Most people won't pay that, but to, or sorry, to the right buyer. So most people won't pay that, but some will. Thank you. Next contest how... starts in 10 minutes. Sorry, how big did you say the Benabog was? Seven feet. Oh, okay, uh, thank you. Start is done. So, you guys want to hit up some more games, or are you, uh, are you over that? I think I'm okay. Yeah, I'm all good. Yeah, same. Fishing was dope, but I, th I think that's enough of the festivities for Zen. All right. Well, at this point, it is about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So... What did you guys want to do? Well, I mean, Zen will maybe have a look at the group. He's like, I know we originally we talked about uh, potentially going down tonight, but um, with uh, Thoros having stuff coming tomorrow and 
uh, Ray having stuff coming the next day, perhaps we could spend a couple days in, in town just until they, they get their things before we head down. Works for me. I can be a lot more effective with it. Yeah, and I it gives me some time to work on some um, cantrips. Um, when did you want to go pick up your sugar glider? I can't remember. You got to pick it up somewhere up here, wasn't it? Or is it, you got to go back? No, I think it. it's down in, um, <laughs> Skullport. Skullport. Yeah. Okay. Was it down in Skullport or did he say that he, he'd, he has a friend up here that he, he'd have to get it from? Uh, he was getting it from him, but he, it was, it was more of like waiting for it. Yet. Okay. So it was going to be shipped down. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so we'll have to head back to Skullport then. Yeah, Il Ilvira Snowveins was their name. Yep. The exotic pet shop, pet shop owner. Uh, I believe you guys also learned that she was a Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so. But I'm cool to just like fast play it. Like we don't have to do it step okay. by step if people want to. Very well. Um. By the way, who's taking care of the calendar? Um, I've been writing down times, but I don't know what date it is. Okay, so I. I but just if you wanna... give me a date, I can keep track. I guess. So, um, how how I'm I want to work this is just because I got a lot of shit to remember. I'm gonna forget. I want to have somebody that can take care of the calendar, which we do have one in the handouts. Uh, Ren used to do it, but since she's been gone, I think somebody was doing it. But if you look under player information handouts. Uh, you've got a calendar there and you can, uh, you'll be able to edit it and it'll, it says current day right now. It should say the second of Elisis, which if you actually look at the, if you click on the calendar, you can see, um, what the, where that is. And I just need somebody like whenever we do long rests to, uh, actually go in and, and change that. So who wants to be the calendar tracker? I'll volunteer if you want, or... Huh. Yeah, that works for me. This shit is complicated okay. as hell. <laughs> it's so easy. I just I can I probably just not fuck that up. Yeah, so under player information handouts, you see calendar and moon cycles. Uh, so you just hit that, and right now it says first of Elias, uh, Elisis. If you go up to edit, we'll be able to change uh, the date. I'm right now we're on the second, but if we're going to fast forward... Um, yeah, leave it at the second until we actually get the long rest in. Roger that. Um, you yeah, guys... Uh, Ray, we'll have to do some rolls, right? Yeah. Um, you guys head back, and as you get back to the Yawning Portal, realize that it is much more crowded than you. You guys walk in. guys get in you see that uh there's a lot of patrons lined up at the bar uh ray and zin you guys can drag in your new tokens People around here. The lineup around the bar is very, very deep. Probably about three people deep. And you hear Dernan. Uh, you can see that there are, in front of each person is an entirely full mug of beer. And he says, five minutes until the... Uh, Tavern run starts in five minutes. Does anybody wish so like to a bar partake? hopping? It's it's uh, it's basically a uh, a pub crawl, but like you know, race. Anybody wish to uh, take part? 
Just warm milk for me. I'll I'll get with you in just a moment, Ray. Gotta gotta get this started first. Zinn is just going to uh, sit and watch because I think he's this is might gonna be a little bit amusing. Oros, Junto. I'll go for a usual large ale, but my drinking typically isn't social, so I'll pass. Okay. Nobody's nobody's gonna take part in the the pub race? Damn. All right. Uh, you wait a couple minutes, and you say, Ready, set, chug! All of them grab their mugs and start to chug, and as soon as uh, they, they turn them over, um, once they're empty, and place them on it, they all race out the door. Just racing. And uh, you hear a bunch of cheers going up from those who are left in the tavern. Ah. Uh, for sure thought one of yous at least would take part in this. No interest in uh, getting absolutely shmammered, huh? There seemed to be a, a few seasoned vets uh, in that group you had there. I don't know if I'd stand a chance. I don't know. I think that one would have any kind of points at Thoros. Yeah, drinking is a profession, not a sport. <laughs> Here's to that, and he starts pouring your guys' drinks. Um, but yeah, how how would you guys like to uh, spend your evening? I'm probably gonna um, I grab... just... go ahead. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, you no, go. no, go ahead, right? Go please. Sorry, I just like to work on my um, uh, my bioluminescence. I'll just um, hang out and probably maintain my gear, you know, oil up the 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 grooves and stuff, and uh, clean my swords. Really? Oh damn! Is that jeweler bottle. here again? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Boros, you just hanging out drinking? Uh, I'm gonna drink a bit, get an early dinner, and go work on jewelry. Okay. Uh, Junto? Uh, I'm going to just meditate. Maybe uh, vibe a little. Responsible adults. A.K.A. he's going to fap in his room alone. Got to keep my <laughs> key up. That's how you have so many points. <laughs> Gloria blows masturbation. <laughs> That's the warrior oh, way, dude. Shit. <laughs> I don't know what's so funny. It's the warrior way. Bro. Okay. Boys. Um, <laughs> Thoros, did you uh did you get materials for your for your jewel crafting? It, like I'm are you trying to create something? Coins. I'm just trying to create rings out of jewel gold coins. Okay, okay. Trying to get better at it. Gonna be an infinite money glitch, I feel. <laughs> um, all right, so we're gonna start with Ray. Uh, at this point, by the time you guys get back up here, it's I believe I said it was about four when you ended down there, so about five when you guys got here. Uh, probably sit and drink it for like say an hour or so, and then heading off to do your own things. Yep, all right, That's about right. So, about seven is when you get into the room, Ray. You all head up to your respective room. Right as you open the door, you know, the, the lingering smell from all the, the mushrooms is still lingers as you enter your room. And get ready to make some attempts at this. Uh, do you still have the rules somewhere? It's been a while since you did it. I don't remember what yeah, they are so anymore. One mushroom is one attempt, and one attempt is one hour. Yep. But I mean, and I'm going to do rules. four. Oh, yeah. So it's a. I just use. Oh, sorry. It's um, I have to pass fifteen times at disadvantage with a DC twelve. Right. Well, by all means, uh, I'm saying I'm thinking you're probably going to get done around like you're probably going to make like four attempts. 
Yeah, I'm going to do four. All right. Uh, give me one roll at a time. It was just a wisdom uh, check for this one, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. Oh, I thought it was my herbalism kit. No, I, I think it's it's wisdom. Just because uh, your herbalism kit, you like the this is a uh, spell crafting. Your herbalism kit is to like. Oh, my herbalism is shit. for like potions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Potions and elixirs. So like minus three because the proficiency would be gone there, right? On the first one. Uh, that that's a save, Snow. It would just be. Oh my god. <laughs> but it's fine. Hold on a sec. Disadvantage. So you rolled a ten. And what is your wisdom mod? A five? Yes. Okay, that is a success. Um, the the fell the spell does fail, but you feel like you're getting closer to um crafting it properly. Give me uh all right, so a f rolled a five plus your wisdom, which five would be a ten. Uh, unfortunately, this one. It does not work. Give me your third hour. <clears throat> okay. Again, it fails, but you feel like you are getting even closer. How many more successes do you need? What? Three. Okay. I feel like you're getting very close to uh to getting a small breakthrough. You don't think it's going to actually uh have the spell finished, but I think you're getting you're getting closer to the answer you're looking for. One more. Fifteen. Um yeah, it that is one more success. So three yes. successes overall. Happy camper. And with that, you're going to settle in for the night. Um, then you're you're just oiling up your gear, um, doing some training. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just full maintenance mode, making sure everything's nice, clean, and neat, and restringing my bow, all that fun stuff. You're the uh, the shiniest stealth character ever. <laughs> all oiled Perfect. up and greased. <laughs> doing some push-ups. So they grab me, they'll slide right off. <laughs> doing some push-ups, getting them pecs all worked up. Getting uh, that, that, that pump on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> after that poor athletics attempt. Um, Boros. Yes. Take a gold coin. Give me a check using your uh, jeweler's kit, and the query is going to be... I'm going to say it's probably dexterity. you got to move carefully. 16. This is not the uh, the best ring you've ever seen, but you feel like you could probably sell this ring for like five gold. Um, I'm going to say that uh, you can probably get it's probably going to take you like two hours for, for each ring because you, you got to like um, you know, put yeah, the sand fine. in the box uh, to, and then kind of give it the um, what's the word I'm looking for? That's cool. Yeah, and then you know you got to polish it polish up. Polish and carve, yeah. and yeah, 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 it's pretty fast actually. Now, um, if you want to try to uh, carve in some intricate details, uh, so right now you you have just a basic ass ring. If you want to take some time to carve in some details to try and up the value, you may. Got it. So when you do this, however, um, there is a chance you could ruin it and you would have to start from scratch. But um, there is also a chance that you could up the value and you can describe how you want to make this look, the way you're going to carve it. So, you know, to, to give like an actual shape or whatever you. So would you like to continue working on this one or would you try to like or would you like to try to make another? So my question is, how do I improve in the skill or do I? Um, so you already got proficiency in it, right? Yeah. Uh, it's 
Hold on a sec. Something's wrong. Need to open your sheet. It is... You have a three proficiency button, and it is adding your proficiency, adding your. Mm -hmm. Oh wait a minute. Okay, your dex. Okay, it is. So we put your uh, that five is actually your dexterity plus your proficiency bonus, which is why it rolls five. Okay. Okay. But yeah, it did add your proficiency. Bonus. Okay. So, um, uh, so the only way you could probably um get even better at this would be to there's two ways. First, you would have to get your decks up, um, or you could possibly take a feat that can grant you um expertise in a skill. Maybe I think there's a couple feats that allow that. Gotcha. Okay. Or not, I'm sorry, not a skill, but a, a, a tool. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. So you, you can get expertise, I believe. Okay. So, um, do okay. you want to continue working on this one, try another one, or are you done? Yeah, let's try working on this one. I'll try and carve it into um, roses. How's that? Oh, this is going to be a high DC. I'm going to warn you of that. Like, how, like, are you trying to do roses all around it? Like, make the whole thing look like it? Well, maybe I should go for a lower DC. Maybe just slap the stone like on vines it. Or elite, or yeah, or vines or leaves? Yeah, vines. Let's go with vines. Okay. Sure. Um, so this is going to drop the weight of it, um, okay. but it will up the price. Got it. Um, I'm also going to say 17. Okay. Um, that you were able to um, gather up the scraps and the shavings to add them to something later on. So in your inventory, you can place, um, we'll say, one out of ten. Um, gold shavings. As you, you carve this, you take the next couple hours to carve it and, and polish it up. Make sure there's no, like, sharp edges on it. I, you Hold this ring in your hand. And is this something you're trying to put on? Like, it, did you make it for a regular size person or? Like, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm a niche market. Okay. And as you, you take a look at this, kind of nod and smile to yours. Uh, this, is, this is well done. I'm getting very good at this. Um, You feel that you could probably sell this thing for now 20 gold. Okay. Now, do keep in mind that these prices are if you're selling it, like, to a, not to a yeah, vendor. Yeah, Vendors to a person, not that. a vendor. Exactly. Yeah. However, you could, you know, over time, build a, a rapport with a, a jewelry salesman. Which, I don't know. Maybe if you get real good at it in the future, like, maybe he's, uh, he decides to, uh, you know, give you a deal or something for, uh, for selling only to his shop or something. You know? Gotcha. Just not the douche one. Exactly. Well, you know, it's kind of, yeah. I understand. Mm, gold. Punch uh, him in the face. <laughs> enough to have a job your birthday gift with a plug. What? What? <laughs> I think I heard that, but I'm not sure. What was that? So oh, you heard that. Here's the plug. Wow. Wow. Right? Damn, it's Happy like birthday, that. Bro. Holy fuck. I love our group. Um. God damn. Uh. <laughs> uh. And Junto, I'm sorry. What did you say you were doing? Um. Uh, I was meditating and. Uh, oh, and fapping. Right. Right. Fapping. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're. Ooh, um, I just learned what that means. It's so uh, gross. You, you don't know. How did you? Never mind. I'm not a She's man. She's a woman. What do you expect? But yeah. What? <laughs> She plays video games. Everybody knows what fapping is. Fap, 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 fap. 
Anyways. You stop because then I cannot hear it and it's so gross. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. So, uh, um, yeah, I mean, you know what, Junto? Give me a performance at advantage. You know your body pretty well. I do you know my body Here pretty God. well. I'm going to take my dog pee. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Well no. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know my body. Just having an off night, you know? Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's, um... I'm like punching my penis, not not stroking it, unfortunately. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Every now and then from Junto's room, you hear, Ow! Fuck! And with that, you guys can take your long rest. <laughs> There's no better way to end the night. Four hours of furious masturbation. It just doesn't do go well at all. Can't get that nut, bro. <laughs> One day. Um. All right. So, um, John, good sir, you may put the uh, calendar forward today. Got it. And y'all wake up in the morning. What would y'all like to do? Um, Ray's just gonna work on her her spells today. She'll be back, but that's what she's gonna do because um, she still has to wait one more day. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if I don't know what Junto is up to, but if him and Relira or even Thoros, if they want to, if they want to go hunting with me, they can, or they can do their own thing if they have plans. Yeah, I think I'll go hunting. I know Thoros has to pick up his stuff, so I didn't know if he wants to do that in jewelry, but... Yeah, I, I, I won't go hunting alone because I'm big and clumsy, and it would put you at a disadvantage. No worries. But, you... <clears throat> but yeah, we can do that then. Okay. Well, um, so we got two people goals all day. Bento and uh, Sin are going to go hunting. So when uh, when when you ask Jinto if he wants to go hunting, uh, like yeah, sure. And he starts scurrying around the uh, the tavern looking for hats. I, I'm I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. <laughs> yeah, sure. Y'all make your way out of, out of uh, out of town. Um, Ray and Thoros are going to be up in the room. Oh, Boros. You trying to craft today? I'll He's go also got to get his halberd too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll All go right, for so a set of earrings. All right, set of earrings. Hey, okay. it's gonna be a little more complicated. It's uh, you know the the, the pins are very small, and you kind of you take out your kit, set it all up, and Unfortunately, uh, you didn't pack the sand tight enough, and it, the the mold for it just kind of it shifts after you pour the hot metal in, and oh, it, you wait for it to uh, uh, what's the word? It solidify, Ooh. and you open it up, and unfortunately, you just have a big glob of. All lumpy, sure. but not. That's your first sure. two hours. Um, I'm gonna say it's gonna take you about two hours to get your halberd, so we kind of skip over that. You go at whatever. Um, two hours to get your halberd. You did one crafting. Figure you're probably gonna want to do this like another five attempts. Five times. Okay. Um. So we'll we'll start with one more and then see if you want to kind of try and make it into find and up the price. Okay. okay. Uh, you may do another one. <laughs> you are not getting the handle on on putting the uh packing the sand into the mold. Unfortunately, that is a nope. You have another glob of gold, which put back into the pot. 
and try again. This one comes out um, a little malformed, but you're pretty sure that with, you know, the, the sanding it down, you can get it to a kind of a shape that might be worth something if you'd like, or it's, it's not going to be worth much, though. Or you can put it back in and re-smelt it again. Re-smelt it. Okay. You make another attempt. The gods do not favor my idea. Apparently. Unfortunately, it uh, once again comes out uh, a little malformed. Again, would you like to attempt to make it better? Or throw it back in. Throw it back in. All right, give me your last attempt for the day. Okay. This time it comes out pretty well. Um, you managed to, to, to get the um, prongs on the for the, the, what do you call it? The, the hooks, basically, for the earrings. Um, how are you making this look? I'll go for a fluid, almost wave-like design. Uh, sorry, a what? Fluid, almost wave-like design. Okay. All right. I'll give you one more attempt to try and up it. Make this... Uh, Make it look even nicer, if you'd like. Well, you didn't ruin it, but it did not... We're not able to, um... Really make it good enough to increase the price. Um, basically, these will be worth... E10. Okay. Um, originally, it was about seven gold. Um, however, trying to uh, make some more intricate designs, you ended up having to shave off a good portion of it. Um, so it ends up, in the end, being worth about six gold for the set. And you also have two, or add another two of ten to your um, gold shavings. Got it. Um, all right. Ray, you're in your room. You, you, I almost called you, sir. Uh, you can get, uh, give me one roll at a time. Fortunately, um, you do not get a success on your first one. Give me that next one. Oh, damn. Damn. You're getting close, Snow. You're getting close. Fuck me. Uh, that's what your mushrooms are saying as, as they get destroyed over and over again. You can almost hear it. God damn. Well, that's your first four hours. Uh, you've got uh, eight more. If you're staying in your room all day to do this. Yeah, like, I'll probably take, like, an hour break for food. But yeah, other yeah. than that, I'll be in there all day. Okay. That's, uh, that's a note. That is the, your fifth attempt. Seven more. Oh. Con save. Oops, oh. sorry. I rolled that out. <laughs> That's fine. Do you still want me to do the constitution? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely give me a con save. Oh, that was at disadvantage. Uh, yeah, but seven is still your first roll. It, it's the first number that comes up is your first roll. So. You cough and you choke. And your vision goes blurry. 
you pass out for one hour. When you awake, you have one level of exhaustion. Yike. <laughs> so I think you should have an exhaustion, exhaustion tracker um, underneath your HP. And if you put, uh, put one in that slot, it'll tell you what, uh, what exhaustion level one does. Now, um, so you've lost one hour, so you're only going to have 11 attempts if you wish to continue trying this. Yeah, I'm going to try. Okay. You managed to get, uh, well, we'll take your 15. You managed to get one of them um, to work. Again, you are getting closer. Every now and then, still giving a cough, and you're extremely tired. Let's see, that is one, two, four, five, six, seven. So you have four more. Fortunately, that is a no. Three more. Is that your last success you needed? Yeah. Okay, so your next one is how many successes as a straight roll? And DC, I think, 15, yeah? DC 15 and a 30 passes. 30. All right, and they're straight rolls now. Uh, except that you have, I believe, disadvantage from your uh, level of exhaustion. So it is up to you if you want to do something else for the day or if you want to continue to try to do this. But your rolls will be at disadvantage. I also don't see the exhaustion thing you're talking about. Second. That's uh, because it is not on moment. All right, now it is right underneath your hit dice. Oh, really? It's not going to tell you what it is, eh? Because. Okay, so. There you go, in chat. Disavenge on ability checks. Which this... Okay, I'm just going to, I only have three rolls left, so I'm just going to use them. Okay. We don't have any combat or anything today. Oh, or do you? One success. All right. Um. So you you. you... After your uh, your your pass out moment, uh, you've gone down and you've got some tried to relax a bit. Um, then you go back to your room, you work on it, and you are getting closer. So close, and yet it feels so far away. It's your exhausted mind talking. Um, Thoros, do you, you do you need help adding your your halberd, or you you got it? Uh, I'll take a stab at it, and then if you want to take a look at it at some point, let me know if I'm able to hook it up. All right. Well, since it is already the halberd you had, um, you'll be able to just uh, you should, I think all you got really got to do is add two D fire to it, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, sorry, no. Don't add it to the halberd. My bad. Um, you can change the name of the halberd. Um, so it says flame tongue um in the name. 
but okay. uh, add the 2d6 fire to your damage modifier area because you have to activate it so it's not always on it. Got it, that makes sense. All right. Zin and Junto. Sorry to stop you. One last question. Does it apply to both ends of the halberd? Uh, good question. Sorry, guys. No, no worries, bro. Yeah, don't apologize. I'm going to if I want to, so damn. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say no. Um, because technically the flame tongue is for the most part usually on uh swords. Um so I'm gonna say that it only would affect the metal okay. the, the, the the blade itself. Makes sense. Junto and Zin. Um you got it takes you a little while to get out of town. Um, as you do, however. Where are you guys headed? Oh, you know what? I will give you the map. Yeah, I think I think we can only really go to the plains around it because the distance, right? Like there's so water deep is right here. Oh. Yeah, so like we pretty much can only get to the plains in the same day, right? Why is my map like that not? Forest looks pretty damn far. Map is supposed to look better than this. Why it's not? It's like it is blurry. a little blurry right now. It wasn't previously. I wonder if it's just today. That's weird. Agree, agree, Kenny. Totally. Um. Yes. Yeah, so, and where is the scale? Oh, there it is down there. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess you're only going to be able to get to the plains unless you're taking days to do this. So. What kind of animals are you trying to hunt? Look for anything specific, either one of you? Uh, based on my knowledge, do I know if there's anything, like, I assume there won't be, like, elk or moose, but, like, maybe, like, some deer, or I don't know if there's antelope. I don't know exactly what's native to the area, but probably, I assume, something more like a deer. All right, so in the terms of a um, geographics, basically, I would say like water deep is mid to mid to high mid uh, Canada. So like we're talking like all right. So you, so you know roughly where I live, right? You know, a little south of Toronto and shit. Yeah, we're we're talking probably about if I was to drive ten hours north. So, um, okay, the kind of animals that would definitely be here is you probably find some elk. Um, probably not so much. Meat. Definitely yeah. some deer. There'd definitely be rabbits, squirrels if you want to be a redneck. Um, yeah. <laughs> um you know. That kind of stuff. So, I mean, is, is there anything in particular you want to try to find? Junto, what do you say? Do you want to go for, uh, see if we can get some elk? Let's go fuck some elk. Let's do it. Uh, also, Junto, do you have a bow? I don't think. Uh, I got starts. Are you able to use a bow? Uh, I believe he negative. can use simple, simple weapons, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. short bow is simple. Oh, and then yes. Okay. Yes. S then I have this bow of accuracy, which is a short bow I can give you for the day. Sure. Thanks. I will hand you the bow of accuracy. I mean, you can keep it if you want, but it's, I assume it's not your usual style. So that'll help too. Yeah, that'll be, I'll hold on to it for the day. I, I imagine. My kitty claws need some blood on them. Yeah, probably hard to hard to bag an elk up close, though. Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm gonna hold on to it for the hunting, but you know. And this yeah, yeah, wild. I got you. So, so they did release some of the 2024 
um, stuff uh, to everybody, like all on shit, which I just happen to have an elk stat block right now up, uh, looking at uh, looking at the difference in the stat blocks. Uh, wow. They gave it some extra health? <laughs> no. No, no, no. In fact, they lowered the health. They lowered half of its stats. They got rid of the hoof attack. And they changed how the charge worked and lowered its damage. Gotcha. So we are, we are going with the, the classic. All right. You guys uh, start going out and you do some. Looks like you find some possible hoof. Um, however, some of them are a little larger than others. Give me, um, one of you can give me nature or, or sorry, both of you can give me a nature or one of you can give me it with advantage. Choice. Nature's kind of weak, bro. Yeah, we'll just both do a nature. It's more fun this way. All right. Nice. Zen, you're pretty sure that um, the smaller hooves, uh, there are probably some uh, some males uh, among the herd, but there's definitely a herd uh, that went. Give me a survival as well. Pretty sure they went uh, a little northeast. Um, the tracks are probably a couple hours old. Um, but you do notice that there is one set that is a, quite a bit larger than others. And this leads you to believe that uh, probably the, the alpha of the group is probably a giant elk. Which is a much larger Ooh. version of the smaller elk. So as you guys I'll relay start... what I see to Junto as well, just so he knows what's going on. Okay. The, the two of you um, head off, and you come to an area. Um, there's a clearing past some trees. Small cops of trees. And as you guys peer out, I want you guys, uh, the, these elks seem to be Slightly northeast of you. Now, let's see how many directions. North, northeast. Nine. Okay. So, I'm going to uh, ask you guys. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's have Junto do it. Junto, you are going to give me a D9. And how we're going to work this is this is the direction of uh, one being north and going in clockwise direction. Six. Pretty good for us. Yeah, yeah. You guys are pretty much um, straight upwind. Right? Right. Yeah, the wind is, uh, is going southwest. So, like... They cannot yeah. smell you on the air, is what I'm getting yeah. at. Yeah. You guys feel like, uh, at this point, they're probably about 250 feet out. As you look, and they're, they're grazing, um, drinking from a stream. Bought um, several that are obviously males, due to what they are doing at the moment. However, there is one that is much larger than the rest. It is, in fact, probably an elk is large. That would put it at probably about 12 or 13. Uh, like, in length. And it's probably going to be about 
Elks are pretty tall, right? They're in between a, mo a moose and a deer, aren't they? Yeah, correct. They're they're almost actually as tall as a moose, but they're not quite as bulky because they're more legs and a little less torso. Yeah, that's all right. So they they they're they're probably about a uh, good ten feet tall. However, there's one, there's one that stands about sixteen feet tall, almost twenty feet long. It is massive, and it just stands in the middle, taking a drink. One of the other males gets a little too close, and he just slams him with his, uh, his antlers, toppling the the uh, the other male over. The other male scrambles to get up as this one just kind of stands there watching him. And you guys are about uh, 250 feet from the herd. But you guys are probably about 350 feet from this giant elk, which stands in the center. What would you two like to do? Uh, Zin's just kind of going to kind of look over to Junto and kind of point at the big one. Zin's greedy as fuck. Um, and he's going to like, like, AKA, we should go for that one type deal. Hell and yeah. sneak up. I like it. I like all of it. Love it. Um, am I able? One sec. I just want to check. Um, am I far enough away that I could quietly cast pass without a trace? Uh, post spell like, based me. on my player knowledge. Um, given that the, to sneak up on the, the wind is also coming towards you. Um, your voice wouldn't be carrying on the wind. It'd be going the other way. So, yeah. All right. So Zin's going to cast Pass Without a Trace on us. And then we're going to attempt to sneak up on this thing a little bit closer because 300 feet's a wee bit far for a bow. All right. So I would like to know. Um, so here's, here's the description of the planes. Um, they are in some long grass. Uh, however, it is not like six foot tall long grass. It's I'm going to say it's probably about good three and a half to four feet um the wind blowing it kind of like now and then almost makes it shorten a little bit be how how it's bending so i would like to know how you guys are sneaking up are you belly crawling it or are you just trying to keep your heads low how close are you getting yeah if the grass you said the grass is like how tall again about three and a half to four feet i feel like if we crouch down small enough like um like kind of like almost like bear crawl almost like hands and knees we might be able to be like low enough from the grass to be so we're only like maybe like two feet tall when we go that way you know what i'm saying yeah like, not quite a belly crawl but still pretty low yeah sure and how close are you getting um based on my knowledge of bows and my knowledge of the bow accuracy i gave him my goal would be like uh, hundred feet. So, a uh, hundred feet from the big elk. Yeah, yeah. And uh, is he in the center of the herd, or is he off to kind of like a side of it? He, he's he's like in the center of it. So, like from where you were, it is two hundred and fifty um, feet to the herd, and then he's a hundred feet further than that. So, if you are getting within a hundred feet, you are going to be like mm, pretty much on work, top of the yeah. herd. Okay, so 150 feet from him. So 50 feet from the herd. I know that's a tough ask, but... Okay. All right. Um, you both can give me your stealth rolls. Just add a 10 to whatever we roll. 34? 24. Yeah, beats surpass the perception by a fucking mile. All right. So as you guys get a little closer, and you're still about 50 feet out, and the elk don't really seem to notice you. You are 150 feet from this elk. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to look at Junto and start, like, knocking my arrow. Um... And I, I want us to be trying to shoot at the same time. 
if we yeah. can. I'll uh, knock my arrow and I'll I'll pick up what he's laying down non verbally. Okay. By the way, did you have a second bow? Um in to give him? Yeah, you gave me a bow of accuracy, like it was one of my crap rolls. It's just a common item, but what it does is it doubles the the uh the short bow's normal distance, but it keeps the long distance the same. It's just a common magic item right 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 and what is the uh distance on a short bow that's a good question i should check that one and do you have a short bow or a long bow's in i have a long bow that which is also why it doesn't really work for me uh short bow is 80 to 320 so he has it's 160 to 320 is basically so he is range. just in range then yeah i know i know that's why i was like we, we 150 is as far as we can kind of go right. away all right um so if you and i take it it's uh it doesn't require attunement right no it doesn't because that's okay. all it does that's the only thing it does so that's that's it are you giving it to him to keep uh, I told him he can keep it if he wants, but if he wants to give it back, he can give it back at the end of the hunt. Junto, if you're going to keep it, you, uh, can, you can drag it into yeah. your, uh, your sheet. Bow of accuracy, right? Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> but this one's specifically a short bow, because I think they can be short or long bows, but... Uh, so what you're gonna do is uh, don't actually drag that in. Um, drag in, uh, drag in short bow. So nice. it'll it'll automatically add it to your attack, and then just change the name, and you can go in and change the the range uh, manually. Okay, yeah, so. Uh, I've never edited this. Best time to learn. I'll walk you through it. All right, so yeah. you, you dragged it in, right? Yeah. All right, so you mouse over the short bow. And you should see a gear pop up. Hit the gear, right? Yep. Uh, okay, first you're going to change the name. You're going to leave it as short bow, um, but you can put of accuracy next to it. You're going to change the range. Uh, leave the 320, but change uh, that to the 80 to a 160. Uh, now what you're going to do is you open up the Bow of Accuracy um, handout. Uh, sorry, not handout. Uh, the thing in the compendium, and then you just copy and paste. Uh, the thing that says the normal range of this bow is doubled, but long range remains the same, and you're gonna paste that into the description. Cool. There you go. All right. Thanks. All right, so you both knock your arrows. And I take you're trying to loose at the same time to bring this thing down, yeah? Yeah, that's the goal. All right. You've rolled successfully on your stealth. You guys get advantage. Them rolls. All right, and now give me your damages. All right. Eight and nine is 17, so that is 20. Both arrows slammed inside, and it staggers for a minute before it rears up and lets out the, uh, the loudest elk wail you've heard. And the all of the elk around it start to scatter 
in all directions. Trying to get away from it as quick as it can. It starts to kind of run around in circles, and you see it's trying to find what hit it. Um, however, I need you both to make deck safe. Sorry, I don't have an advantage. As as a stampede comes by, uh, you both kind of like, um, kind of hop and roll back and forth, trying to stay low, but getting out of the way of these um, charging elk. Uh, you manage to, uh, yeah, still 22 is good. You, you guys manage to stay out of harm's way. However, this thing is still up, and it is starting to run. Um, I want you guys to give me one of you give me a... Now, let's make this interesting. You're both going to give me a D9, and then it's going to go um, direction of the average between the two of you. Again, north being one, going clockwise. One, so north so far. And fives. So one... uh, that's good. One. Yup, it sure is. That's cool. Uh, so if... Oh, it is going to go east. Right, so one, two, five. In between that, yeah, would be east. So it starts to charge east. Both have extra attack as it starts to move. Oh, you know I'm using it. Uh, yeah. then that's a hit junto that is a crit fail it lands at the feet and it sees the direction it came from it looks towards you and it starts to charge and you hit it for another 11 so that is 20 and 11 is right it begins to charge um uh, quick question yeah Am I, be, uh, I don't know how we're doing action economy, but am I able to action surge? Sure. I'm doing it. Action surge. Send it. It lowers its head as it starts to try to charge at you. Give me your damage. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. You want to describe what happens? Uh, let's go. No, I'll let you do. I'll let you. You got this. Sure. It it starts to lower its head, and as it does, your your third arrow pierces its its chest, and it kind of staggers a bit. And as it lowers its head, you put a one more arrow into it, and it takes out one of its legs, just hits right at the uh, one of the joints, and it goes Ugh! as it just slams into the ground and skids. Um, <clears throat> for a moment, it's kind of in its death throes. It's you know, trying to fight to stand back up, and it's it's not working. It starts to collapse down again. You hear it giving its wails. I don't know what elk the sound elks make, so I'm guessing. <laughs> you know, um, and then as you guys close the distance, uh, it's alive long enough to see your faces or the uh, life fade from its eyes. So I take it you're gonna field dress it and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. That's this yeah. is probably it for the day. It's gonna take us like the rest of the day. Yeah. But yeah. Zin's gonna quickly give uh, Junto a good pat on the shoulder. He's like, well done. That first shot was quite nice of yours. Yeah. Talk about the second one though. Tell me more. <laughs> we only talk about those that hit, not those that miss. Fair. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A regular elk has two. Giant, so we're going to put it at about 450. Uh, if you two are going to uh, both try to um, carve this sucker up, uh, field yeah, dress have it him and... assist me if he's cool with that. Yeah. All right. Uh, advantage on your survivals. Uh, I'm going to say this is probably going to take you at least like a good four hours to do. So give me four. Yeah. I figure this is like do this thing and then go home. Yeah. Uh, four, you said? Yep. Three. Junto, oh. you're you're assisting him. I thought. Oh, 
I thought you wanted all both of us to do it. My bad. No, well, no. He he said he said if you want to assist, and you said I thought you said yeah. Oh, okay, I, I wasn't sure if you were also asking me for the rules, but oh yeah, no, makes no. sense. It's a shame though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a right. good fucking rolls. Zin, you got one more roll. Yeah. My roll is 23. Yeah, your rolls have been yeah, solid. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I mean, um, not as good as the crit 26, but you know, still pretty good. You managed to get a um uh get the antlers um cut off very well. You've got some massive elk antlers. Uh, of of giant elk, sorry. You've got a uh, a whole pelt. Uh and you've got I'm gonna say with those rolls, I'm gonna say you got about out of the 450 pounds of possible meat, I'm going to say you got like 430 pounds of elk meat. What do you want me to call the hide? Um, Giant elk hide. All right, I got it all. Two giant elk antlers, 430 pounds. Elk meat and one giant elk hide. Uh, yep, two giant elk antlers, uh, one giant elk hide, and 430 pounds of meat. Beautiful. Motherfucker just got uh, got you guys rations for the rest of the fucking game. Well, uh, Zin will kind of talk with Junto because last time uh, I went and hu went hunting, I I went and sold stuff to Dernan at the end. So I don't know if Junto would prefer to do that for the meat as well. Um, you... I was thinking maybe we save some. We could of save it. some. Yeah, we could totally save some. I mean, he paid pretty well. Not gonna lie, last. Yeah. What? Time. What? What uh, did he pay? I've got a feeling I overpaid. I, it was a normal elk, and I think I got two hundred and fifty gold. Because I think I had like two. I had, but I I did a really good job. So I think I got like two hundred and fifty pounds of meat. So I think you gave me like a gold per pound of meat or something like that. It might have been overpaying. I, 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 I don't yeah, know. I, but... I definitely. Because if you think uh, a meal is usually like, you know, a, a meal is like half a pound. A um, hundred grams per meal. So quarter. Probably. Yeah. So right? like, and if he's only charging like, you know, um, a silver. Yeah, there's no way right? that would work. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, that, ma that math does not math. Out, yeah, for no, sure. it does not math. <clears throat> um, so if you do go into town and you, uh, how much do you want to offer to Dernan? Uh, what do you think? You want to offer him like. Keep, keep like what 50 pounds for the party because that's still like i mean even the way we eat that's still gonna be quite a bit of rations yeah 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 i think that makes sense all right so you're yeah. selling so it's like 380 80 all right yeah. and if he's charging his plate that's got to cover everything else he, he's probably gonna offer you <coughs> excuse me um hold on a second i'm gonna do some calculator Silver plate, or sorry, um, a silver plate. When I'm dying, all right, silver plate, and the meat would be <clears throat> quarter like of that, so like worth three copper. So he's probably gonna offer you like probably two copper a pound, proper. Okay, and then, then that's... Or sorry, no, not 200. Uh, no, it would be... Per pound would be... Five copper. Because he's not putting a pound on each plate, yeah, right? Yeah, five times 380. 1,900 copper. And it's how, 10 copper for a silver? Yep. Divide by 10. That's 190 silver. So it's Divide like 19 by... gold. 19 gold he'll round it to uh 20 gold and your okay. meals meals and drinks uh as long as you don't go board and the drinks are free for day for i don't know let's say a couple months i am cool with that if you are and we'll get 10 gold each yeah. cool and then i will um i'll mark that in the bag of hunters so i don't forget and the antlers and the hide can actually sell as well want to cool. find somebody to buy them I'm sure we will at some point. Do you want me to put down a cost in here for him? Uh, yeah, we're gonna put down the, the antlers. You can make like uh, blade handles and stuff. Uh, yeah, 
Oh, that that's actually probably going to be more valuable than. Yeah, because it's like especially I, with that well, size of antlers, ivory, but kind of like ivory style, right? Yeah, yeah. We're 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 gonna say uh, f- let's say uh thirty gold per antler, uh, which you've got two of them, cool. and uh the hide is hide's probably gonna go for. I mean, elk is elk would make some really good uh covers for rich people. So to the right vendor. I'm going to say you're going to be able to get somewhere between, let's go 40 and uh, 80 gold. So just put 40 to 80 gold. All right, that's going to be the haggling part. Got it. Um, cool. So we actually, we did pretty good. We did pretty good, Junto. Yeah. Oh, nice little bounty. Yeah, it's not bad. And with that, uh, we are going to get you guys back to the inn. You guys can get your long rest. Uh... And so make sure you guys hit your long rest so everything replenishes. Ray, it should make your level of exhaustion go away. Um, John, you can move the calendar forward a day. And I am going to outro the stream as that is where we are going to end. So I'll be right back. Well, thank you everybody for coming out. I hope you all had a good time. hanging out today i appreciate i saw a lot of people in chat sorry today was really busy i did not get to read chat like i normally do thank you it's mickey for the gifted sub greatly appreciated um everybody that hang out whether you talked in chat or not um always appreciate you guys being here um you guys make this uh, a little more fun and it, i'll be honest like normally i try and get to chat a little bit uh more even during D and and answer in chat but i did not have the time today unfortunately but thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. Um, I think I'm going to find us somewhere to raid, too. Because uh, we do have a few people. So give me a moment. What do we got right now? Um, we have got... You know what? Let's uh, let's go see Sprigleaf. He does a lot of chill games, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, betas. Uh... Now he he does a lot of stuff, um, you know, new stuff, um, and gives like kind of reviews and and help help with it and whatnot. So I think we're gonna go there. So uh, just remember everybody, where is here it is. Be savage to go home. Hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow, seven p.m. Eastern time. Peace.